back. So today I will be playing with a dom lock and you can see here is the keyway and it's relatively narrow. You can't fit really that wide range of picks inside but uh, some of them work quite well. Oh, that's why I have two of them. Uh, reason be it is because this key or rather these locks they are their pins the same so the same key works as good as for uh, for the padlock and it also operates the euro cylinder usually here in austria you'll find such combinations a lot uh, when you get an apartment you get one key from the front door of the building for your own front door and you get a padlock for your basement and you operate everything with one key which is an advantage if uh, you want to carry only one key Disadvantages, disadvantages, of course, if somebody actually steals this key. Anyway, uh, I'll be picking the Euro cylinder so that uh, if I'm successful in opening it, we'll be able to gut it. I've already removed the C-clip uh, beforehand because the C-clips, they don't really hang anywhere. They're just free spinning, you can see with, uh, with the other one here. And it would have taken a lot if uh, I remove it when the the actual pick is actually done so let's see what we can do for this lock so let me just see okay this is the right one because it would be annoying if i actually have to pick it once again because it picked the wrong side no anyway starting with one nothing two Again, excuse the, the noise, my kids are watching a movie in the other room, so it's a bit, a bit noisy. So 4 gave us something like a click, 5 gave, gave a click, 4 gave a click again, and again, and okay, I think it's set now. 3 gives nothing, or maybe he's set, 2, 2. Nothing, let's see one. Another one, one, two, three seems solid. So let's see it's two. Okay, I have no idea what they're watching actually at the moment, but somebody somebody's screaming their brains out. Uh, let's see. Okay, that was four. Give you a click. Three is solid. Two. I think I ever set the actual number two. Let me drop it a little bit. Let's try and see number one. One. Two and then one, four, five, 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 five. What's number five? Okay, five. I think they will, I'm pretty sure actually I overset something, I feel like they're overset. So one, two, two, okay, two seems to be set now. One, two, two seems to be set, three is set. Eight, and that's three. One get in between three, that's four. And five. Okay, I felt a slight turn. So five. Oh, so that's five. One, two, three, four, five. 
to Number five will give me a few clicks. Maybe another one? No? Number four? Under number four now. Some more feedback. Three is nothing. Two and maybe one. Nothing on one. Two. And there we go. Lock is open. I don't know which one was the last one. Okay. So let's do the gutting. It's relatively a hard lock. Um, I unfortunately don't have my uh, pinning kit with me because we are actually out. But, um, well, uh, yeah, let's just get it. It will be a mess. I will probably do it. I will fix it when I'm back at home. But Let's do the mess just now. So that's the look itself. So everything is out. Okay. I have no idea what the order of the pins is. Maybe I might, might get the other one to have a look. But there are some of my favorite pins. And actually, I see two of the pins are exactly as the logo of uh, Potty314's channel. Uh, I'll show in a moment what I mean. So, let's order them in some way. And then I will get the other ones too. So, starting with number one. Come on, one, one. Okay, that's one, two, okay, three, Ooh, that's a torpedo, that's a major big torpedo, another torpedo on four, and here's on five, awesomeness. So, well, let me give you a close-up. But before that, uh, something on the core, I don't think so. One of the older modern models of uh, DOM, but anyway. Actually, let's do it another way. So, what do we have here? You can see on number one, we have a standard, two is standard, three is a giant, and I mean giant torpedo. Number four is a smaller torpedo, and number five is a standard. And then the key pins, as these are ordered now. Uh, this one is uh, like a bevel pin, so that's actually I think it's a uh, anti bump bump pin, and we have actually three of them from one. So in this case, one, two, and four. And what I mentioned, these are spools with movable rings here, which uh, I think they're awesome looking pins. We have it here on currently number five as well, I think. Oh no, no, this one not. This, this is actually only a serrated pin. Okay, this is only a serrated pin. So we have one, this one with movable pins. Um, okay, on the core, there's nothing curious about it. But when I started to actually trying to put the lock back together, I saw something interesting on the Bible. And I decided to make a, a short random. Uh, here you can see on the on the right side and on the top 
you can see actually some cuts for sidebars. So I assume that if they change the core and put uh, one that has passive pins, uh, this can actually become a higher security lock. In addition, hopefully you can see it here as well. You see this this thing that this kind of a shade here, where my pick is. Uh, this is actually. Let's try and make it like that. This is there are there's actually a chamber, I think, either for some active element or for drill protection. I am not entirely sure. I would be I would be guessing that this is for let's see, I think I can go through here. I think it's for uh, some additional pin, maybe uh, if they change the core to use another one. So that was something curious about the dome lock. And guys, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. See you next time. Bye.